Little pig. Little pig. Let me come in, mate. What the fuck you got to do with you, huh? Eh? I don't want any Shut trouble. up! <laughs> Fucking ugly, man. You're lucky, because I would have bent you over this railing to give you another bastard mouth to feed, you get me? Did you see anything here? No, 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 you didn't see nothing then, no? Right, then we'll see about that then, shall we, yo? No! No! Would you cut my face if you see me again? Answer my fucking question! I didn't see anyone! You going already? Can't wait for a little cuddle or something. Cuddle? Fuck that. I've got shit to do. Oh, really? What about us? Are you dumb? There is no us. You're a skit. That's it. I put some fucking makeup on, man. You look like a dog. I'm sorry, is this some sort of joke? What about all the time you spent with me? Oh, my days, you don't get it, do you? Just trying to get you into bed, Lauren, which was a waste of time. You're a fucking shit fuck anyway. What are you doing? Evidence, isn't it? What do you mean? All my boys think you're frigid. But you ain't no. Get out! Hello, is Charlie there? Really? Oh, good. <laughs> well, if he comes in, tell him Richie call, will you? No, I'm, I, I'll call back in a couple of hours anyway, OK? OK, good. Bye. Hmm. Hey, she got well dirty towards the end. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, let me stick it in our bum and everything. I'm, t I'm telling you, brother, I'm telling you. Yeah. OK. Nice. Oh, yeah, bruv, you should see this, bitch. What are you doing? Hey, listen, I've got to go catch you later. I said get out. Who's this? It's your sister. It's my mum. Man, she's fit. And maybe you should invite her to the party next time. Can you, you just me? fucking leave? That'd be nice. I'll be nasty. When you took your time. Yeah, well, I ain't like you. I don't see a pair of tits and come instantly. What do you mean, man? Don't do that, bro. Come on. As ever, exactly when you said you'd arrive. As ever, I always stand by my word. And, as ever, you're not ready. 
Always keep a man waiting. That's what I was told. So, did, did you just talk? I don't know what me and a bitch did for. Just she. Ah, you wanna fuck her, innit? Waste of time, bro. No, no, I like her. No, 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 it's alright, we're still saying that, man. If you're with Lauren now, bro, that's cool. I ain't cool. fucking with her, man. She's just a bit on the side, you get me? You fucking funny to see you bang still. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll text her now, innit? I'm home. Hi, Mum. He's my brother, Carmen. He's not He's not royalty. You asked me to arrange a party for his birthday, and this is how we do things. Only the best in Espana. <laughs> well, thanks, Carmen. It sounds amazing. It also sounds expensive. Very, very expensive. I know how important Charlie is to you, so it has to be amazing. Yeah. Plus, if it wasn't amazing, then I wouldn't be able to charge as much money, would I? Hey, who fancies a bang tonight? Is this about Lauren? Slag needs teaching. So, you really don't want her? Share with these care with gods. Where? You scared of man's in your little dick? <laughs> You should give him a call. Make sure he's sober enough to get on the plane. Carmen, he's not a complete drunk. He wasn't even in our local when I called. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll call the Dover Castle, and if he's not there, I'll buy you dinner. Oh, well, since I'm your client, I rather thought you was buying me dinner anyway. Mm -hmm. He's one of the best safe breakers in the business. I mean, he was the bumps, you know, top dog. Uh, hello, Dover Castle, how can I help? So he's gloving up the wall, gloving up the He's here, but he's just started the trouser anecdote. Oh. Uh, Mr. Archer? Yeah. Mr. Archer? <laughs> Mr. Archer? <laughs> Mr. Archer? <laughs> oh, God, come on. OK, hang on a bit, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hello? Mr. Archer, please hold for your brother. Charlie. Hey, Richie, darling, how are you? It's terrific to hear from you. Hey, what do you do? You get someone to dial the number for you? What, your little fingers gone to sleep? Is it too much activity in the right hand? <laughs> so you was just passing by the pub, were you? Everything's changed now. There's no longer a pub. It's a fucking upmarket fucking bistro. You're lucky if you get a fucking drink. Yeah. Come on, this is the speciality of the house. It's a pigeon, rest, fritters. Goose liver. Oh, they, you know how they do that? They shove a pipe down a, its fucking throat and shove a lot of food, force a lot of food down it, you know, like they do when they force feed you in prison. And then eventually, this poor liver explodes. <laughs> and that's what they call home for me. I'm really missing you, Charlie. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, me too, bruv. Oh, good. Well, go home, get your head down. You're not as young as you used to be. Yes, she passed neither of you. And don't miss your plane. Over my dead body. Right. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here comes trouble. That was my brother. He wants me to go up. Oh, well, he's telling you what to do. Well, <laughs> my, how times have changed, hey? Oh, yeah, yeah, they have, Princess. And let me tell you, it's not always for the better. So, um, how is he, your, um... Your brother. Yeah, he's all right, you know, he's still wearing a little mini skirts. <laughs> like no, I'm joking. He's good, he's terrific, like, lovely kids. Do you know, I haven't seen him for, what is it? I think it's uh, 30 years. Ooh. And back in the day, I used to have a proper thing for him when he was younger. Oy. Oh, come on, Charlie, I tell you, you're too old for me, darling. <laughs> oh, no. come on, he's still gorgeous, he's still got it. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you his number. <laughs> Do you know, I think, um, I think I'd be too scared to call him. Too scared? OK, that's fine. Well, uh, come on with me, then. Mm, darling, it's been so long, I wouldn't even know what to do with it. 
Well, I'll give you a couple of lessons. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Don't come with me. I want to show you something. Come. I got a little surprise for you. What's going on? I thought I'd introduce you to my boys. Properly. Therefore, we're going to be seeing you later, sweetheart. Okay, I've got to be off home like a good boy. All right, all the best. Bye, princess. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, my love. Bye, love. Yeah, and you too. Yeah, behave yourself. Yeah, keep off the little boys, will you? Yeah. All right. Tell our love. Wait till you fight. Come on, Dean. Had to bust your first nut, bro. Oh, I'm not too sure. What do you mean you're not too sure? Pull a skirt down and fuck that bitch. Oi! Who are you? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Fuck out, Grandad. This has got shit to do with you. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Hey! Fucking hey, up! Hey, 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 hey! Fucking up! I really. I really. wouldn't do that again. Fuck off, old man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you all now. The next ponce who tells me to fuck off. I'll take your fucking jaw off. Fuck <laughs> off. You liked it, did you? Hey, enjoy it. Give me a beer for tickle. You fucked up. No, you fucked up. I don't think so. Yeah, don't think so. I'll take your money. Come on, you and me. Don't work like that anymore, old man. Yeah, you steaming heap of dog shit. You're too fucking cowardly to do a one-to-one, -one, you ponce. Oh, I hate that sound. Sound like a rat pissing. Shut up. Fucking hold this one. You want a one-on-one, -on -one, yeah? <laughs> Well, time. You, you got your, your hands. Oh, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! And how did you know the deceased? Well, same way everyone in the neighborhood no knew him. And how's that? Well, how did everyone know him? You don't know Charlie or Richie Archer? Oh, you're one of those coppers, are you? Work part-time, then? No, I'm... Well, no, I'm a detective constable. Oh, well, I'd drop the detective if I was you and the able. You know the Cray twins? 
Richardsons. The Quays, yeah, of course I do. I saw a movie about them where the brothers weren't even twins. Uh, he was just like them. This was Charlie and Richie's manor, right? OK, I get it. So they run the place, took a slice of it. Literally, in some cases. You know, I really wouldn't mock D.I. Taylor, because at least then we could walk down the street and we wouldn't be harassed, or even worse. These days, we do our best. Oh, right, of course, the budget cuts. Yeah, yeah, I know all about that, but I can't even remember the last time I saw a copper walking the beat at night for God knows how long. Mrs. Davies. Ms. Davies, actually, which, if you had read my statement, which is right in front of you, you'd have seen that, wouldn't you? Detective Constable. You were saying Charlie Archer was murdered and it seemed you were about to suggest something. Did you see the murderer? No, I didn't see the murder, but I know it's the E2 gang. The E2 gang? What makes you say that? It was bloody obvious, wasn't it? I mean, they was all coming out the alleyway as I was going in and, well, you know, I recognised, well, most of them. They're, oh, they're just like cockroaches, that lot. They're just scurrying around. They just, they need to be destroyed. Ms Davies, it would be best if you didn't say that. Well, why? They're... I mean, they're, they're trying to destroy us, aren't they? Our community, our way of life, and... Well, you want to protect them, do you? We need evidence before we can do oh, anything. Oh, I see, of course, evidence. Oh, did you find any evidence at Charlie's murder scene? Did you find any uh, ooh, uh, fingerprints or CCTV or, or, uh, or any leads whatsoever at all? Did you see anyone causing Charlie Archer any harm? Did you see anyone murder him? No, I didn't see anyone murder him, but I just know it was the E2 gang, you know? I just... And, oh, you lot, back in the day, this sort of thing would never even have been allowed to... Well, we don't live back in the day, Miss Davis, but I will follow up on your assumption that the E2 gang are involved in some way and question them. Oh, I feel so confident now. Well, can I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Oh, no, no, thank you. I really hope you stick to your word. <laughs> because a very, very good man died tonight. Interview with Ms. Lizzie Davis ends at 2.37 a.m. <sighs> Technically not a good guy as he committed arson, theft and murder. Yes, hello. Um, uh, Mr. Archer. This had better not be one of them bloody sales calls. No, uh, <clears throat> no, this is, um, this is Lizzie Davis. Uh, well, you won't remember me, but... Lizzie Davis. <laughs> uh, 237 Torrance Street. Long brown hair. Lovely blue eyes. Slim. Well, a bit on the skinny side, actually. Well, um... You remember me? <laughs> yeah, I remember everybody. Oh. Hello? Uh, Mr. Archer. Call me Richie. How'd you get my number? Well, um, you see, I've 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 got bad. Well, it's, no, it's not bad, it's terrible news, actually. Yeah, I've not heard from you in 30 years, and when I do, it's I've got terrible news. I don't like the sound of that. Hello, Lizzie. Are you there? Yeah. You know, I get the feeling you're a bit upset. Or a bit scared, or both. Yeah, well, don't be scared. Because I've, uh, I've not been that person you remember for many, many years. Trust me, I'm a man of my word. Do you know, we all know that about you. It's, uh, well, it's one of the things I really liked about you, actually. All right. So, Lizzie Davis, why are you calling me? In the middle of the night, after all these years. sure about this guy? 
Ms. Davis said she saw the E2 gang in the vicinity. That's some of the E2 gang. And as for him... What about him? <laughs> You'll find out. Look, I know we're following a line of inquiry. It's just that these kids ain't murderers. They're all mad for no bollocks. You got a better idea? Ask to ask Mike for something. Yeah, right. What was he doing down that alley? It's not on his route home. He's an old boy. Maybe he stopped off to have a piss and someone jumped him. But why? He still had his wallet on him. Have they traced his brother yet? Spanish police are on it. That's a meeting I'm not looking forward to. Come on, let's rattle some cages. Whoa, whoa. You're a fed. Have we met before? Come looking for me. We just want to have a little word, if that's OK. What if it's not? <sighs> See what you mean about this melting, you know? We can just as easily do this down the neck. But I know how you like to keep your name off the record. Hey, bruv, make sure you capture this on camera, yeah? You know what these dickhead feds are like for fucking up innocent people? This is bait. What the fuck do you want? I know why you don't have a record. Hey, listen, I ain't a snitch no more. Fuck that. I'm done with that shit. Well, just so we're clear, I don't approve of what happened with my predecessor. That uh, is big promotion. You jealous, yeah? Yeah, getting promoted for overlooking your crimes isn't what I call good policing. Yeah, well, you lot banged up some pretty big fish, so the way that I see it, everyone's happy, you get me? Apart from your victims. Yeah, that's all behind me now. I was gassed up back then. Don't fucking look at me like that, man. In a day goes by, I don't regret working for you pricks. Talk to me like that again, and I will knock you into next week, and I don't give a fuck who's filming. Where were you at around 10 p.m. last night? Can't remember, where. Try harder. I was with my boys watching a film. Really? What movie? Don't know. Just some film, innit? Where? DK's yard. Someone fitting your description was seen in the streets near the Dover Castle pub. Well, like I said, I was with my boys all night, innit? Yeah? Well, we were hoping you were going to say that, because the witness gave a good description of some of your mates, too. Well, that's bullshit, man. An old man was attacked. It's a rough area. He died, Aaron. So whoever did it is going down for murder. Which means whoever did it won't get a second chance. No opportunity to turn grass. Again. But well, we're done. Well, look, if I hear anything... Like a good citizen. I'll be seeing you, Aaron. Can't wait, darling. Little prick. We should just search them all now. I bet we'll find some weed. Oh, it's not worth the paperwork. Let's walk the crime scene one last time. What's happened? The old man is dead. What? She... It's good. It says I'm right, innit? She said someone see us. Oh, man, she's fishing. Unless the old woman grass. No, no, she wouldn't say nothing. She knows better. Well, we didn't see no one else there. But there was someone else there. Why right, can't we duck out, bro? The one that's good.
there, Roy. Good to see you again. Good to see you too, mate. I'm sorry. What a shithole. He didn't deserve this. Do you mind? I still live around here. Sorry, this is closed. It's open now, isn't it? Leave him. And next time, have more conviction about what you say. I didn't believe you. So if we assume... This... Excuse me, sir, this is a crime scene. Out of my way, son. I want to talk to the organ grinder. Hey. This where it happened, then? Mr Archer. Oh, good. At least you've got some detective skills. I looked up your mug shots. Oh. As I say, it's good to know that you're doing something to find out who killed my brother. Detective Inspector Taylor, this is my investigation. Oh. I'm very sorry about your brother. Thank you. So what can you tell me? Not a lot. We still don't know why he ended up in the alley, let alone who... Who killed him? Well, it's early in the investigation. Well, nice to have met you, Inspector. Mr. Archer. Yes. Yeah. I know your reputation. And I know that we will have inevitably certain divisions between us. But let me be very clear. If you interfere in my investigation in any way, I will have you picked up and put inside. The old Turner wouldn't want to meet him down a dark alley. See what all the fuss is about now. Lauren, are you okay? Am I okay? Fuck you, Dean. You were going to rape me. No, I wasn't. I didn't know Aaron was going to do that. I didn't realize you and Aaron were even. It was a mistake. Well, he's coming here right now. He thinks you're going to tell the police. Well, maybe I should. If you do that, it'll, it'll kill you. Like that old man. Please, Lauren, I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, fuck, he's coming. Lauren. Lauren, I know you're in now. I'll be fucking ignoring me now. My boys are a bit disappointed that you left so early the other night. Yeah, I was telling them how good you are at being a dirty little shit. Now listen to me, yeah? And you fucking listen to me good. My boys, they're my family, yeah? And they're like my fucking hungry pack of wolves. You fucking get me? And you, you're just a dirty little pig skit. So if you don't keep your dirty little mouth shut, guess what? I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll burn this fucking house down while you and your bitch mama sleep in. I mean, this E2 gang, we are nothing to them. They've got no respect for us because nobody stands up to them. I mean, the bloody coppers, they're clueless or they're shit scared. Yeah, I got that impression too. Well, it was different when... What, in my day? Well, yes, you know, at least you could walk down the street. Yeah. I tell you, if my old man was... I just wish I could do something to help, you know? <laughs> Poor old Charlie, you know? Oh. He was a nice Despite... Despite being a villain? Well, yeah. <laughs> Listen, um, 
It might be an idea not to let the police know that I've been here. Okay. Might complicate things mm. a bit. Who'd have thought you'd be in my house? <laughs> <laughs> Just wish you was four years younger, that's all. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> it's not what I meant to say. What I meant to say was so. Uh, I would feel a lot safer if you was back. We all would. I'm so sorry for not stopping what happened. Does that make it have stopped all of them? You say that, but an old man did. My nephew um, found it this morning. It was on a dark site. It's uh, well, it doesn't show up in your normal search engine. I have no idea what she just said. Oh, well, it's not like I'm an expert or anything. I just sort of muddle through. Does your nephew know any of these kids? Well, I have no idea, but I recognise them. I'd swear by it. Do you want me to uh, print out a screen grab? What? You zoom in on the faces and then you can print it out. Well, we could give it to the police too. No. No, we keep this to ourselves, right? And when somebody crosses me, I prefer to deal with it myself. Now, if you could just get me those screen doodads, those faces, if you could do that for me. Here, look at this. I looked at some of the other videos this user posted and I found this. Oh, my God, that poor girl. That's the same place where Charlie was killed. Do you know, I think I know her. Pretty sure I know where she works, too. Hiya. Can I help? I hope so. I need some information. About what? The alley of 10th Street. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, I think you do. I'm sorry, but I think you've got the wrong person. Don't play games with me, sweetheart. Is everything all right, Laura? Yeah, thank you. Yes, we're fine, aren't we, Lauren? Who are you? You're not a policeman. No. <laughs> no. But I do want some answers. The man who died protecting you was my brother. Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, I'm OK. Look, I can't talk here. I'm so sorry about your brother. There's nothing I could do. I know. Look, I don't care why you haven't said anything to anybody about all this. I just want some names, that's all. Now, did you know any of them? Oh, you did? Give me the names. I didn't know any of them. I was just attacked and... Yeah, I wish I believed you. If any of them found out that I... The names. I was with Aaron. Who I thought was my boyfriend. Aaron. Oh, Aaron who? Aaron and what? What's his surname? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know your own boyfriend's surname? What's happened to this place? I was just trying to fit in. I thought he really liked me. But... Well, how involved was he? He's the ringleader. Nothing happens about him saying so. All right. Anybody else you recognise? Yeah. I think his name's Maz. He went to my school. But you're not gonna... Not a word to anyone. Please be careful. There's so many of them. Yeah, I've always believed in quality, not quantity. And you should get back to work. Mister? Yeah? He was a good man, your brother. He saved me. Yes, he did. And you know what he'd say if he was here? He'd say, Lauren, stop wasting your time hanging about with a bunch of vicious little assholes, pardon my friend. Life's too short, sweetheart. It really is. Have some help. Now, I appreciate the gesture, but I don't want anybody else getting involved. 
Because this is going to end up bloody. Only you, Arthur Bennett. Only you would dare make a fucking joke during my brother's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know me, Richie. I'm either having a laugh or I'm fucking furious. And we thought you found an happy balance in your old age. Less of the fucking old! Relax, fellas. I'm just joking. Nice to see you again, Arthur. And you, Butch. How's things, eh? Been a bit boring since you left town last century. <laughs> I've got a feeling things might be changing. So, uh, what's the score, Richie? Well, uh, from what I've seen on the video, there's about six of them. And they're nasty little piglets. And I... I would really, really like to hear them squealing for their mums before the end. That sounds like fun. I'll dig my blades out. Where can we find these little bugs? Butch, it's not as simple as that. This lot are part of a firm. And there could be loads of them. Yeah. And they've got youth on their side. So we've got a box clever, haven't we? And today, is for Charlie. But right, tomorrow, we are going to war. Also for Charlie. What the fuck you doing, bro? Thank for me. Yo, cow! Sell it. Don't smoke it. Fuck off, then. Uh, Aaron, someone's asking questions about you. What, that bitch fed? No, some old guy. I don't think he's fed. Must have seen him talking to Lauren about a dead guy. Sounds like some dickheads need to be taught how to keep their mouth shut. gents left in the world now. I know. Sometimes I think I'm fighting a losing battle. <laughs> what? They were good old days, though, aren't they? That's this lawyer here, know nothing about romance. Full of piss and wind! The lot of them! Give us a pine bush. There you go. Liver? Oh, well spotted. <laughs> well, I've cut enough of them out in my time. I should know. Sorry, at private party. I'm looking for... Detective Inspector. Sorry to interrupt. But you did anyway. We don't have any contact details for you, so we knew you'd be here, obviously. Obviously. Can we have a word in private? Hmm? Well, go over here. So how's your investigation going? We're still doing house to house, but it's a closed shop round here. Oh, some things don't change that. Mr. Archer, I do want to find the person responsible. Good, so do I. That's my job, not yours. But I do understand your loss. I wonder if you do. Well, I do. You just have to take my word for it. What do you know about loss? 
I'm a widow who's trying to balance being a mother with a full-time, pretty stressful job. And it would really, really make my life a lot tougher if you were thinking of going on some vigilante rampage. I'm not a vigilante. I respect your family matters, and I am sorry for your loss. But I'm sure you understand why I want you back in Spain as soon as possible. I am not a vigilante. Is this a good idea? I mean, here. What's wrong with it? Charlie loved it around here when we was little. And when he was older, if you know what I mean. Well, let's just say he ain't the first person we dumped in the water here. Isn't this where we lodged that shooter? After we killed, what was his name? Uvey. Wish I could dig the fucker up so I could shoot him again. <laughs> good to see you, gents. Here's to the good times. And the bad ones. If only old Mother Thames could talk, eh? It's not the Thames, Arthur. It's a fucking canal. Anyway, it's the perfect place. Right. I've seen you, bro. Right. Let's go to work. See? Hello, Richie. Heard about Charlie. Bad business. Yeah, I don't like what you've done with the place, Jane. Fucking kids nowadays. No respect. They can't just nick stuff. They have to fucking destroy everything as well. Well, that's why I'm here. I need your help. <laughs> Forget it, mate. Those days are long gone. Yeah, I thought so too, Jack. But, yeah, here we are again, eh? <laughs> so what do the police say about all this, eh? Do they give you your crime victim number? Do me a favour. Oh, bugger me, you never even called them, did you? <sighs> well, that shows a lot of confidence in your old firm, I must say. It ain't, though. Oh. oh, you can't bear the thought of them seeing how pathetic they end up when the force spits them out the other side, eh? <laughs> You're in good shape. <laughs> Kept well. I've got a tan, Jack, and I'm 20 pounds overweight. That's what the Mediterranean does for you. Should have gone myself when I had the chance. Well, you stayed for her. That was the right thing to do. All that money I made on the side, all those deals we done, all went on her care, you know. And for what? Same result as if I'd done nothing. Well, you're going to die sometime. Yeah, it's always too soon for those of us left behind. Do you see much of them? <laughs> much as I can. They give me hope that the next generation now won't all be fucking animals. God, Jack, you really are such a big old misery guys, aren't you, dear old dear? <laughs> oh. Well, I'm going to cheer you up. I need some inside information from your friends in blue. What do you need? Well, restrict the manpower on the case for a start. <laughs> I don't have to ask for that, Richie. It's probably been done already. Also, I could use some records on a couple of tow rags called Aaron and Maz. Even if I agreed, who says they'll listen to me anyway? Oh, I'm sure a former Detective Chief Super does have some clout, even with the Maz. So what do you want me to say? Here, lads, fancy doing me a favour? I don't care what you say, Jack. It's not my problem what you say, just so long as you say it. May I remind you, I put a lot of money in your back pocket over the years. And I kept you out of the nick, Richie. You and most of your lads, we all benefited. Yeah, but there was a bit more to it than that, wasn't there, eh? Remember Billy Morgan, Pat Corrigan, Terry, whatever the fuck his name was? Richards. Richards, yeah, see, you do remember, don't you? They're all still dead. And who took over their turf? Uh, that's not the point, is it? I think Metropolitan Police ordered gangland killings. That's, that's the real headline, isn't it? I know where all the bodies are buried. I'll show you if you like. To be honest, I'd have thought your lot were welcome some help. How'd you make that out? Well, let's face it, these arse wipes are walking all over you, all over the East End. I mean to say, it's embarrassing. <laughs> See what you can do. I'll let myself out.
scare me. They are just little shits, all right? They are not men. They are not people. They are not part of society. Wow. Did they hurt you? Oh, Richie, you have just got to sort this mess out. Did they touch you? Did they what? physically hurt you, you know, in any way? You're to me. I've had enough, all right? And if you're going to go after these bastards, then I want to help you, right? And I, well, we all want to help you. Just sort this fucking shit out. Baby, how was your day? Same as always. Are you sure everything's okay, love? You seem a bit distracted lately. You haven't been out. You're not feeling sick, are you? Or it's not a lad? No, Mum. I'm not ill. It's not a lad. I'm just tired, that's all. Come on, I know you're better than that. If something's bothering you, you know you can tell me. No secrets, we've always said that. No secrets? Honest, I'm fine, Mum. Really. Okay. I'm a copper, remember? So I always know when something's not right. Not quite the med, is it? No, not quite. Well, it's got its charm. That's why it's worth fighting for. Yeah. Speaking of fighting, I've persuaded an old colleague in the evidence room to make this disappear. <laughs> Charlie's. Thought you might want it. Yeah. Oh. oh. Still got your thing, then? It's not a thing, Jack. It's a medical condition. Everything I can get is in there. Aaron obviously kept his nose clean because there's nothing on him. But there is an address for Maz. He's your typical gobshite. Arrested for the manslaughter of an old age pensioner. World War II veteran, no less. Mm. But the prosecution screwed up the case and he walked. Well, he ought to pay for that. Oh, dear, you two are in a bit of a pickle, aren't you? <laughs> now, you can either make this easy or we can make it hard. What's it going to be? This has to be a job, man. Right? Hmm? What's with the reservoir dogs, look? Hmm? That's supposed to scare me? That's fucked up. Understand? A nice fancy dress. They've come as a boy band. You're fucking a tie me now, yeah? And I promise I'll let you live. That's very considerate of you. Now, where can I find Aaron? Fuck you! I'm tired. Maybe we should tell the young gentleman why we're here. Yeah. Now, this is how it is, lads. My brother was kicked to death recently, and at least one of you is involved. Maybe both. Maybe both. And now uh, one of you, or both, is going to have to pay. But not until I know who Aaron is and where I can find him. Listen, you have no idea what's coming for you when we get out of here. The fucking untie us, yeah? We're E2. You know what that means? It means you're fucking dead. Yeah, well, being fucking dead doesn't worry me too much, son, because I've been nearly fucking dead many, many times, and so have my friends. We don't give a shit about you or your fucking friends. Well, you should. You should give a shit about who we are. What? Four old twats? Oh, yeah, yeah, we know how you like killing old men. Pensioners. Ah, oh, that old fucker. He wouldn't give us his medal, so he got what he deserved. You think that's pain? That's not even gonna come close to the pain I'm gonna put on you. Pain? You want to talk about pain? Oh, well, look at him. Now, he used to be a torturer, and he's good at it. He was one of the best, actually. And he's got this uncanny knack of knowing when people are lying to him. Oh, I'm terrified. Unfortunately, Leroy here is telling the truth. 
But he'll learn soon enough. Now, you see him? He's what you call an enforcer. And trust me, you only cross him once. And if you're clever, you never cross him at all. Fuck the history lesson. Cut me loose and I'll let you live. He's lying. He wants to kill us. Yeah. And then there's old Butch there. Now, you want to know why they call him Butch? Because his face looks like an old dog's ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, that is one reason, yeah. Bollocks! No, it's because it's short for the butcher. Now, he can carve up a body in 15 minutes, can't you, Butch? I reckon 12 with him. It's fuck all of him. What, am I supposed to think you're some sort of hard man now? You ain't got no respect for E2. When I get out of here... Why don't you shut the fuck up?! I'm looking at my friend's body language. And he doesn't look very pleased. Hmm? They just don't get it. Arthur. You want to give these up? They kill you. <laughs> now, do I have your attention? <laughs> Were you there? when our mate got done. I don't have to even rely on my ability to spot a liar. <laughs> We've seen the fucking video. And you're in it. Why is it this generation keeps putting itself on the internet? Doing stupid fucking things. It's that, um, called, uh, reality shows, right? Everyone wants to be famous. Hmm? You want to be famous, eh? Live fast, die young. Of a fucked up corpse! Courtesy of me! Technically, it will be me that fucks up his corpse. Well, it looks like he can't talk now. So it's your turn. Where can we find Aaron? Oi, what the fuck is Maz? He's not answering. Any bets he's just with some scare? Yeah, try him again. JP, call Leroy. Oh. Something ain't right. What, you think it's feds? No, 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 we would have heard one, though. We've got enough enemies. Any one of them could take from us. Ah, oh, you dumb. No one's gonna try it of us, man. Yeah, but what about them Eastern Europeans? Look, they're fucking everywhere and they could take over real quick. Yo, blood, call me back as soon as, yeah? And they're fucking crazy too, you know? Look, if they got Leroy and Maz, you think they'll lead them to us? Hey, look, listen. If someone is trying certain, yeah, and then we need to find them and then we need to fuck them up. Mm. Now, go get everyone on it. And, JP, get everyone tight enough the corner so we can talk this shit. Not the corners. Right, right, bruv! Remember who you fucking work for, yeah? If I tell you not be shotting, you don't be fucking shotting! Look, all, all I'm saying, bruv, yeah? Saying what? Saying what? Huh? I don't give a fuck what you got to say, bruv. What? You're telling me how to run my team! Look, I just want to shift some weed. No! I don't want no one else going missing. I go find my boys. Wait, what about that old geezer we saw Lauren talking to? <sighs> You fucking chatting, man. <laughs> Ain't no prick gonna do nothing. He's nearly dead. I ain't telling you shit. Good. That's just how I like it. What are you gonna do? This force is getting on my tits. <clears throat> now, you listen to the nice man, right? Now, we're all upset. Because you and your mates killed his brother. And he wants to know who else was involved. And you're going to tell us one way or another.
That's for that war veteran you murdered. <laughs> and this! <laughs> and that one's for Charlie. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep nailing this piece of shit to that chair until you tell us what we want to know. You ever seen one of these? Fucking antique, innit? <laughs> yeah. Used to take an age and all. <sighs> You've no idea how hard human bone can be. This was how we used to do it. The old way. But this... This is the new way. Dean! Where the fuck is Dean? I'm on it. Thank you. Cheers, man. I should answer. JP. Who are you with? No one. What do you mean? Have you seen Lero and Mads in the last few hours? No. Get on the fucking street, man. What are you doing, man? Get out of there, ask questions, man. Make yourself fucking useful, Dean. You got a guy? I ain't got her. But they want me to. So, are you gonna go? Or are you going to finish that milkshake? I want to stay here. I mean, it's a wicked milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, son. But you have to be awake. Otherwise, this is all a complete waste of time. Now, all the bad things that you've done in your horrible little lives have all led up at this point, and it's called retribution, karma, payback. But I'm quite willing to stop all this. I'm quite willing to forgive and forget if you'll just tell me where I can find Aaron. Look, look, I was there, okay? But I didn't do anything. I didn't touch the guy. He brought for me. Where does Aaron live? I don't know! I swear down, I've never been there. He's lying. I can smell it. He always knows when someone's lying. It's a gift. Fuck! Fuck! Okay. Tell me where you want me to bring Aaron, and I'll bring him to you. That's an even bigger lie. Drop your mates in it. You fucking Judas. You want me to start cutting now? No, let him go. What? For fuck's sake. I said, let him go. He's just a kid. This is a mistake, Richie. This little shit will grass us up. I swear, tell me where you want me to bring Aaron, and I'll bring him to you. Then I'll vanish. In one time. Now, if you ever breathe a word about this to anyone, or I even get a sniff of you around here ever again. Your history, my son, you understand that? I swear I won't say nothing to anyone. <sighs> I told you he was lying. And I believed you, Roy. But I've never killed someone who's sitting down, let alone tied up. I mean, it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Now, 
How's our veteran killer, eh? Oh, dear. What a shame. Well, I thought we might call it a day then, eh? Or nothing. People fucking lying, bro. Lie to me. Everyone's looking. This JP seems to be connected. Yeah, more ways than one. He shares friend links with what well, most of the names we've been talking about, except Aaron. He doesn't seem to come up anywhere. Where'd you get this stuff? Oh, just social media sites. It's not very difficult if you know where to look. You was something of an expert with all this computer thing, eh? Nah, just a nosy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the neighbourhood being like it is. Yeah, well, we might be able to do something about that. Do you know, you already have. I mean, the mood round here, it's just, um... Well, it's, it's lifted since you've been back. There's nothing like a good funeral. <laughs> oh, it's not entirely what I meant, but... So, uh, what are you up to, then? Oh, just getting the lay of the land, you know? This is going to be very useful. Well, I better be going now. Oh, yeah, um, well, if you need any help, and, I mean, obviously, I'll, I'll keep looking and... Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks, Lizzie. Yeah, you, you wouldn't fancy going out one of these nights, would you? We, we could get something to eat. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, no, I mean, yes, I mean, uh, that'd be nice. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, leave it with me, eh? And wear something red. No, I remember that dress you used to wear. Stunning. Uh, <laughs> yes! No, I'm sorry, but I think there's a red one over there. OK, great. Hello, Lauren. Why are you here again? I'm not stopping till I find the person responsible. I'm a man of my word. Now, I was just wondering if you knew any of these people. I can't. They're threatening me. I, I'm sorry, I just can't help you anymore. All right, uh, let me tell you a little secret about threats and blackmail. And I have a thorough knowledge of the subject, believe you me. The sooner you find the exit, the sooner you find the solution, the sooner your life goes back to normal. They've got pictures of me, and I'm, I'm ashamed it's not even who I am. The whole thing could ruin me. That's what they're relying on, your fear. They're not going to stop you, you know. They're going to keep turning those thumbscrews. I used to do this for a living, so I know what I'm talking about. I help you, you help me. I've got a daughter, but she's all I've got, and if someone ever... Allow me to remove these people from your life. Good girl. Thank you, Lauren. Friends? Friends. Great, well, now we're friends first things first. I expect you'd like me to stop scaring you at your work, <laughs> wouldn't you? So maybe you'd like me to phone you from now on? Yeah, um, what's your number? I am going. What do you mean? You ain't got a mobile phone? No. <laughs> old school? A bit less of the old. You write your number on there, all right? See, they got pictures of you, but I got pictures of them. Yep. Take a look. Was he there that night? He had nothing to do with it. I swear. He was. Good. Do you know where he lives? No. But I heard he serves up deals at the Gravesend car park. What the hell are you doing Mom. here? Mum. Mum? <laughs> I was just looking for a dress, a red dress for my friend Lizzie, but I couldn't find anything suitable. Stay away from my daughter. <laughs> I honestly didn't know she was your daughter. Thank you very much for your advice, miss. You OK? I'm fine, Mom. It was nothing. Give me your 
doing it now, you old fuck! Who you calling an old fuck? We need him alive! I was aiming for the back wheel! Claims bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, on my fucking back. I'm not too old for this lock. The fuck's going on? You're fucking dead. You hear me? Dead. Well, I'm alive and well. Here, you remember that? Well, let me go, you bastards. Look at it! Take me! Where can I find Aaron? Never heard of him. <laughs> now I'm gonna ask you again. Fuck you! You see how this is going, don't you? <laughs> you want to rat someone out? No, I'm asking you how I can find the person responsible for killing my fucking brother! Listen. I don't care how powerful you think you are, granddad. But you ain't as powerful as the E2. I'll grass up Aaron. I might as well be dead. Sounds like I've got work through my tea break. It's a fucking joke. If you ain't gonna do anything. That's what your friend said last night. Yeah. Guess what they're saying tonight? Nothing! That's the trouble with your generation. You think you're invincible. You think nobody can touch you. You think you're gonna live forever. But not you. Jesus, look at you. This ain't some Houdini trick. You ain't getting out of this one. You must fucking kill me, old man. Because when I get out of here... When? <laughs> You've got to admire his optimism, haven't you? I'm going to fucking kill all of you. I'm fucking stab me, bro. That's funny. That's exactly what Maz and Leroy said. Just before we killed them. Fuck you, man. When you two find out about this, you're all fucked. You know something? That's wives, girlfriends, whatever. They're all gonna get fucked. Fucked in every hole. Fucked up the arsehole, especially. You got any doors? You got a door, yeah? By the time you two have finished, bro, yeah? Show me how to fucking move. Let alone walk properly, blood. Yeah. One by one. Fuck, 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 fuck. I just gotta fucking love it! You know what irony is? This belonged to my brother. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you get on your fucking knees? Like he did. And start begging. Just like he did! <laughs> and we was laughing. <laughs> laughing at your pussy old problem. So cut him up. <laughs> Fucking fat cut. And it was. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for fucking irony? Jesus, this used to be easier. What now? Now, well, now comes the main event. Oh, fuck. Richie, ah, you Richie. okay? Go. Back in a moment. No excitement, okay? 
How can they say no excitement, you walking around, eh? And they say chivalry's dead. <laughs> How are you feeling? Vulnerable. I'll be glad when they got me on the ward. My feelings, exactly. This place is wide open. Hey, you worry about nothing. Even if they did know you're here, they wouldn't have the bollocks to come. Maybe. I just don't fancy spending a week trying to sleep with one eye open, that's all. That's all right. We'll look after it. No. No, I've got unfinished business with that little scrot, and if anybody's going to fuck him up the arse with a Christmas tree, it's going to be me. Give me a phone, someone you know. I'm going to call a friend. That's me. My life savings, brother. Snow that! <laughs> you go. Oh, bruh, we should have got one of these time ago. Ain't no one fucking with us now. Grab a gun, bro. Grab a gun. Grab a gun. And walk then. For a see. What the fuck do you want? I've got some information about that old bloke. The one that's been hunting you all down. What about him? He's in hospital. I heard my mum talking about it earlier. Heart attack or something. Bullshit. It's the truth, I swear. What the fuck are you telling me for? Because I thought... You thought about me and you, yeah? Yeah, I thought you know yeah, me yeah. you, yeah. Yeah, really? Too. Yeah, yeah, get your fucking scat hands off me, man. What's this bitch gassing for? Go to fucking hospital up now and find out where he is. But I can't just... Just fucking do it! Hi. I'm trying to find out about a man called Richie Archer. Yeah, he's my uncle. He's on ranking world. That's lovely. Thank you. See, I told you. Right, DK, gather some boys. It's about time we pay this old fuck a little visit. Grab this bitch, man. She's coming with us. Can you tell me what's going on? We're not being here three hours now. It's the weekend, so we're really busy. But even so, you told me after, we're not busy. What's your name, please? What do you think you're doing? It's my mum. If I don't answer, just let me text her at least. You stick with me, yo. Yeah? Put that on. Fucking put it on. some flowers. You seen one of these before? Trust me, it'll fucking hurt if I pull the trigger. Is there any more like you outside? 
How many? Answer the fucking question. Arthur, put some eyes out the back, just in case. That was a fucking shotgun! What the fuck is this? Fucking bitch! You shut me up! What the fuck, dude? Oi! You better be on your way out. Mom? Mom? I think I need your help. Where is there another entrance to this place? I don't know, but I'll go and have a look. Don't do nothing stupid. Me? As if. Give me a hand. Arm response team on scene, Mom. Come up secure in lower floors. Do we have any information on what's going on? Not yet. Still here an occasional gunfire. Intelligence service team are en route. My daughter's in there. She's smart enough to stay safe, Mom. There's loads of them. And I mean fucking shitloads. Oh, this lot fucking taken into what? Bravo team, shoot me. Stand by. <laughs> Carry on, ladies. Second dates go, this is pretty memorable. We need to get up off the feds are coming, man. No, fuck that, man. We finished this today. If I keep firing, I've got an idea. Bill will be all over this place like a fucking rash soon. I can't say. I'm going to be sorry to see them neither. Hey, look, listen. I got your little traitor bitch here. You hear me? I will blow a fucking head off unless you come out now and put your guns down. I swear that you got five fucking seconds. You hear me? Five. Four. Fucking shut up. Three. Two! <sighs> okay. I'm coming out. You bloody mental. That's suicide. You got a daughter, Butch, eh? No, I thought not. We got no choice. She's a kid. Okay. We're coming out. You fucking are you? Now put your hands where I can see them. All right, you got me. Now you can let her go, can't you? I fucking told you, didn't I, old man? 
and now you're dead. But first, you've got to watch me waste your boys. Oh, you mean like the way we wasted yours? You two is an army. One go, another one come. Oh, what, like cockroaches all scuttling about in the shit, eh? And what you got, huh? Mr. Old School Gangster. I'll tell you what you got. You got about 30 seconds. So which one of you should I cut first? You! <laughs> Richie, just shoot the little cunt! Oh, fuck it. <sighs> that was for Charlie. You're getting up. All right. This one's for me. <laughs> you ought to know when you're beaten, my son. Oh, police! Put a weapon down! You really expect me to believe it was self-defense? We told you what happened. We were all asleep. And suddenly, these two fellas come in, all tooled up. And you took their guns off them, you, 70-year-old men. Well, there's no need to be so insulting, Inspector. I am the young gun on the farm. <laughs> you give us a minute. I'll be seeing you. Is this it? I don't know what you mean. Listen, I've got every armed copper in London crawling around outside. And if you want me to feed you to them, I will. So I'll ask you again. Is this it? All I can tell you, Inspector, is that as soon as I'm out of here, I'm going back to Spain. Well, you should carry your blessings. You've got nice, clean streets again. I think the people around your way deserve that, don't you? There is one last thing I want to say. And if I don't say it now, I probably won't get another chance. What's that? Thanks. What for? For saving my daughter. Hmm. How's the East End now? Quiet. I could have come, you know, to the funeral. Oh, you barely knew him. Anyway, your place is there. And yours? Someone getting homesick. Or maybe you've met someone. I should be home by supper. Then I'll have something ready for you. No, no, I'm bringing some pies over for you to try. Now, proper English grub. <laughs> OK, have a safe flight. I love you, Dad. You too. Bye. Uh, I won't come outside. Hey, goodbyes. We never did have that night out, did no. we? No. Well, you've been a bit, um, <clears throat> busy. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you could always come out to Spain. I I'm going to need a carer at any minute now. Well, you're selling it so well. <laughs> anyway, you know, girls are here and uh, feels like home again, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the offer's always open, Lizzie. <laughs> Richie. Yeah? <laughs> you take good care of yourself, eh? Hey? Good riddance to him. Yeah. Anyone that wants to ponce around in the sun playing golf rather than stay here, not worth knowing, mate. I can tell you you're not lying. And I have to agree with you. 
After all we've been through recently, and he still turns his back on us. Just like what he'd done 20 years ago. Come on, lads, that's not fair. I was running away from old Bill at the time, keeping my head down, taking the heat off you, Moses. Who are you calling a mug? <laughs> so why have you stayed? And don't try lying to me. Lizzie. She might have something to do with it, yeah. No, there was something else. And when we was tidying up the streets, cleaning off the pond scum, it really got my blood pumping. I suspect it got your blood pumping too. I thought, this is who we are, this is what we do. Fuck me. Where'd this rambling speech come from? Spending too much time with the Europeans. Now, Lizzie mentioned something. She said something about some old age pensioners living in our manor, getting all their life savings nicked off them. Burglars? Bankers. Same thing. And I was thinking, maybe we should teach them bankers a lesson. Do I get to kill one of them? Hmm. No, I want to really hurt them. Yeah. We steal their money. Remember that thing we did with Charlie back in 69? Turing? How could I forget? Wait. You're going to steal their gold? Now, let me buy you all a drink. For this great idea. I'm alive. And I'm no rock. I'm alive. No piece of metal, yo. 